everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY Mother's Day gift video and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys two different DIY gifts that you can make for your mom for this Mother's Day. If you guys haven't bought her something yet or just kind of want to make her something more personalized, definitely check out these two options because they're super fun to make and super easy as well. So if you guys are interested in watching, just stay tuned. Alright guys, so these are the different DIYs. First, I have some DIY bath salts for your mom that she could use to relax. And then also a mason jar with some cute little notes um, with 10 things that you love about her. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to show you how to make these at-home bath salts. Bath salts are awesome because they help relax you and I am actually going to be sharing with you how to make them at home and these are all lavender scent. So to make them you're going to need some baking soda, some Epsom salt, some lavender essential oil, some food coloring, some coarse sea salt, vanilla extract, and also a cute mason jar that you want to put the bath salt in. And I got this mason jar at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was so cute because it brings like a little wooden spoon and it was only $1.50 because it was on sale. So definitely check out Hobby Lobby for some cute mason jars. Alright, so you'll first start out with the Epsom salt. So you'll want to pour one cup of Epsom salt into just a plastic container that you can use for crafts. So here I'm just measuring it in my little measuring cup and I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything in this container. Next you'll want to measure half a cup of coarse sea salt and here I'm just measuring it as well and I got all these supplies at Target just um, if you're wondering you can find most of these things at your local stores um, so what I'm going to do is just measure it and then just pour it all in. Next measure half a cup of baking soda and pour this into the mix as well. Next, you'll need to pour in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is super easy to measure because if you just take one big spoon, this will actually be equivalent to one tablespoon. Next, you'll go ahead and add some drops of lavender essential oil. And you can add as many as you like. Of course, if you add more, you know, the stronger the scent is going to be. And both the lavender essential oil and the vanilla extract are going to help just kind of give you that nice fresh aroma. All right, so now it's time for some food coloring. Now, I got this little pack from Target and I was actually looking for a purple, but they didn't have one. So in the little box, it said to mix both blue and red to get purple. So the first time that I did this, I actually poured way too much blue into it. So it kind of came out to be just kind of like a nice, like a dark bluish color, um, which actually came out quite nice but if you want to have kind of that light lavender um, color that I actually have in my second mason jar then the trick to this is actually just to pour in a little bit of food coloring at a time so add a little blue mix it up add a little red and then mix it up but here I just poured both of them in the same time so it gave me that nice blue color but in case you wanted that light um, lavender color just put in one at a time. At this point you're just gonna do a whole lot of mixing so it might not seem like the color is catching on at first but trust me it will just keep just mixing everything together um, as much as you can and then um, you know the color will start distributing throughout the whole set of, of sea salt. So as you can see here, it's kind of catching on and the more you mix, the more it's going to spread out. So if you don't want, you know, those little chunks of blue and red, just keep mixing.
And once you've achieved the color you like, you can go ahead and pour it into your mason jar. And this is the fun part, I feel. Um, so you could just grab your spoon and start filling it up, up until you know how much you want to put into it. And that's pretty much everything for the actual sea salt. Sea salt is awesome because it's really gonna help exfoliate your skin and the Epsom salt's gonna relax your muscles. Um, so it's great for a nice kind of like spa day where you just want to have like a nice relaxed day you can pour this into your bathtub and it will help you you know kind of relax and to finish it off i am using some of these stickers that i got at target at the dollar spot and i'm using them as little labels on both of my mason jars as you can see here this is my second version of my sea salt i'm a little bit lighter Next, I just grabbed some straw and tied this around the neck of the mason jar and just added a little bow. I think it just kind of adds to that whole shabby chic look and it's super cute. And on the labels, you can really write whatever you'd like on them. I decided to go with mom on one and then on the other, lavender. And I think these are awesome little gifts for moms just because being a mom is like a having a full-time job. So I feel like having a little treat like this would really make their day. And that's how you make the sea salts. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the second DIY. The second DIY gift is this mason jar with some notes for your mom and it's just 10 things that you love about her and this is a nice way to just kind of remind her whenever she's either feeling down or anything like that of why you love her and why she's awesome. Cut out some cardstock paper and then just write little notes and I chose to do 10 and I just included you know things that I love about her and I folded them in half and then just stuck them in the jar and I did find this cute little ribbon at Hobby Lobby along with this little sticker label which I wrote on and just wrote 10 things that I love about her um, and then I tied the ribbon and I love these ribbons I think they dress up any type of mason jar they're super cute um, and that's pretty much the whole thing it's super easy super inexpensive I got everything at Hobby Lobby for like less than 10 bucks um, so it's totally doable and I'm sure it'll mean a lot So that was it for this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come remember you can follow me on all my social media sites which will be listed down below i hope you guys are having a great day remember you're all beautifully and wonderfully made and i will see you in my next video bye guys